Welcome to an extremely quick and short Pro Tools tutorial on send and insert bypass shortcuts. These shortcuts apply to selected tracks. I'm going to blast through them quite quick, so if you need to pick any of them up, you'll probably need to watch the video more than once. So to bypass inserts A to E on selected tracks, it's Shift and 2. To bypass inserts F to J on selected tracks, it's Shift and 3. If you want to bypass all inserts, Shift A. To mute sends A to E, it's Shift and 4. To mute sends F to J, it's Shift and 5. Now you might be wondering what Shift and 1 does. Well, that toggles the all group on and off, like that. If you want to mute all sends on all selected tracks, then it's Shift and Q. If you want to bypass an insert and all inserts below it on a track, then you can control click on that insert. So you can see whichever one I click, it bypasses that plus anything below it. That applies across everything from uh, inserts A to J. If you want that to happen across all tracks rather than just the one that you're clicking on, then it's Control Option Click. So you can see that will bypass everything from whichever insert I click. Similar shortcuts apply across sends. So Control Click a send to bypass that and all sends below it on that track. Control Option Click on the send to bypass it and all sends below it across all tracks. There's also a group of shortcuts which relate to bypassing specific plugin types and again these apply across selected tracks so Shift and E bypasses EQ plugins, Shift and C bypasses Dynamics plugins. Now here you'll notice that ordinarily when a plugin is in bypass it's highlighted in blue. This one here, Channel Strip, goes purple and that indicates that a specific part of the plugin, in this case Dynamics, has been made inactive but other parts are still active. So blue means completely inactive, purple means part of the plugin is inactive. Shift and V bypasses reverb plugins. Shift and D bypasses delay plugins. To bypass modulation plugins, it's Shift and W. The question is, why is it W? Well, I'm not entirely sure, but the way I remember it is modulation can be thought of as a form of wobble, highly technical term, and so W stands for wobble, so Shift and W bypasses modulation plugins. You're probably already aware that if you command click a plugin, that's one way of bypassing it. If you command option click a plugin, then you can bypass all plugins on that particular insert across all tracks. If you have only certain tracks selected, then if you command option shift click a certain plugin, then it will bypass that particular insert across all selected tracks. And finally, a couple of other shortcuts relating to sends. If you command click on a send selector, then it will expand or collapse that particular send selector. If you want to expand or collapse all the sends within a particular group, as in A to E or F to J, then command option click on any given send within that group. So A to E, F to J, there you go. So I've covered quite a number of shortcuts there relating to sends and inserts. Obviously I've covered quite a lot in a short space of time, so as I mentioned, feel free to watch the video again, and I'll see you next time for another Pro Tools tutorial. Thank <laughs> you.